Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is introduce you to a much more efficient form for the equation of a line. It's much better than using y equals mx plus c. And what we'll be doing is we'll go through a couple of examples. These will be common examples that you're likely to meet. So let's start then with a line. Now to define a line it needs to go through two points. And if we take, say, one known point on the line, let's say it's this point here, and we'll say it has coordinates x1, y1. Okay, that's a known fixed point on the line. Now another point can be any point on the line. Let's say we have this point here. It's a general point, so we'll call it xy. It has coordinates xy there. So fixed point and any point on the line x, y. Okay. Now we should be familiar with gradient. Remember gradient has the letter m and gradient is defined as the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. So the difference in the y coordinates will be y minus that fixed point here, y1. So it'd be y minus y1. And it's divided by the difference in the x coordinate. So we started with y, so we must start with the x here, x then minus x1. Now if I multiply both sides of this equation here by x minus x1, then we're going to get m times all of x minus x1 equals y minus y1. And if I rearrange that, we end up with y minus y1 equals m, the gradient, multiplied by x minus x1. And this particular equation is the equation that I'm going to encourage you to remember. It's much easier to work with than y equals mx plus c. This is another form for the equation of a straight line when you've got the gradient of the line and a known fixed point on the line with coordinates x1, y1. And remember that x and y represent any general point on the line. So let's do a common example first of all. First one is this one. Find the equation of the line with gradient 3 that passes through the point A with coordinates 2 minus 4. Giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0. So what I'd like to do with a lot of these questions is always draw a sketch. I feel that drawing a sketch gives you an idea of what the problem's about and also can help to check out to see whether you're getting the right types of answers. So with this one, we've got this point here, point A with coordinates 2 minus 4. So that's 2 across, 4 down. Let's say we've got it here, okay? That's the point then with coordinates 2 minus 4. It's the point A. And it's got a gradient of 3, this line. So it's going to be going in the positive sense. So it's going to be a line, say, looking something like this. Looks like I'll have to just extend that y-axis down there. OK? So knowing the equation of a line takes on this form, m, we've got m, it's 3. We've got x1, y1, a known point on the line, 2 minus 4. So therefore we're in a position to quote the equation of the line. So I'd encourage you to just write equation of line. Don't write equals but just write is. Okay, Equation of line is and then we can go straight for it. It's going to be y minus y1. y1 is the minus 4 so it's y minus minus 4 equals m the gradient which we're told is 3. So it's going to be 3, all multiplied with x minus x1. So it's going to be x minus, and x1 is the 2. And cleaning this up, we've got, therefore, y plus 4 equals, and if we expand the bracket, we get 3x minus 6. 
If I wanted to put this in the form y equals mx plus c, all I would need to do is just take away 4 from both sides and I'll get y equals 3x minus 10. And you can see that looks good from this drawing. Remember, minus 10 it would be where it intercepts the y-axis. So it's a valuable check. Anyway, we weren't asked to put it in that form. We were asked to put it in this form. So what I'd want to do is subtract y and subtract 4 from both sides. So therefore, we'll be left with 3x, then minus y, and then we've got minus 6 minus another 4 is minus 10, and that would equal 0. And that's then in that form. If we're asked what A was, B and C, A would be 3, B would be minus 1, and C would be minus 10. Okay, well, let's take another example. Okay, we'll just border this off here. And this is a common example as well, illustrating another point that you're likely to get. With this question, we're asked to find the equation of the line passing through the points A with coordinates minus 2, 3, and the point B with coordinates 3, minus 1, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0, where A, B, and C are integers. Now with this particular one, again, I'd like to draw a sketch, so we'll just take a moment to just draw that sketch so we can get a feel for the problem. So draw our axes up, x and y. Next I want to put on my points a and b. a is at minus 2, 3, so we'll go minus 2 and 3 up, so we've got a point there. Label that as a, with coordinates then minus 2, 3. And then we've got this point b with coordinates 3, minus 1, so 3 across, 1 down, so that's b. And that has coordinates 3, minus 1. And we need the line then between them. Now what we haven't got is the gradient m. So we're going to need to get the gradient m first of all. So if we just put up here gradient, I won't write m in. But the gradient, remember then, is the difference in the y-coordinates divided by the difference in the x-coordinates. So if I take... 3 first of all here is going to be 3 minus this y coordinate here minus 1. And that's divided by the difference in the x coordinate. So started with this one, so it'll be minus 2 and then minus this coordinate here, 3. And tidying this up, we've got 3 minus minus 1 is 4 and minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5. So we end up with minus 4 fifths. A negative gradient. And again, just a valuable check as well. You can see from the sketch we've got a negative gradient. So again, adding value then to drawing sketches, just so you can check your answers, see if they look sensible. Okay, so we've got the gradient. Now for x1, y1, we just need a known fixed point on the line. Well, we're lucky with this one. We've got two points that we know. And it doesn't matter which one of these two points we use, we should find we get exactly the same answer. And I'll demonstrate that, okay? What we'll do is we'll put, therefore, equation of line, just as our intro, equation of line, and just put is, and suppose we use the point A, let's say using A. If we use A, then it's going to be y minus y1, y1 being the 3 there, equals m, the gradient, which is minus 4 fifths, multiplied by x minus x1. x1 is minus 2. And if I tidy this up, best thing I could do is multiply through by 5. So you're going to get 5y, and then you're going to have 5 times minus 3 is minus 15 equals, and that would leave us with minus 4 bracket x plus 2. So minus 4 times the x is minus 4x, and minus 4 times the plus 2 is minus 8. And rearranging this into the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 means that I'm going to add 
4x to both sides and add 8 to both sides. Always a good idea to lead with a positive x term here. So I'm going to write that as 4x then. Then we'll have plus 5y. And then we'll have minus 15 plus 8, which is minus 7. And that will equal 0. So that's the equation of the line. That's if I used A. Now, if I was to go ahead and use B, let's just put up here using B as the point, I'll show you that we get exactly the same answer. In fact, you might even want to have a go yourself, so you could just pause the video at this stage. But if we do work through it, it's going to be Y minus Y1, so it's Y minus minus 1 equals m, the gradient, which we've seen is minus 4 fifths, and that's multiplied with x minus x1, x1 being 3. And again, I'll multiply through by the 5, and therefore what we'd have is 5y. We've got here minus minus 1, so that's plus 1. Multiply it with a 5, and you're going to get plus 5. Equals, here we'd have minus 4 then, multiplied with x minus 3. And so expanding the bracket, you'll get minus 4x, and minus 4 times minus 3 is plus 12. And if I add 4x to both sides and subtract 12 from both sides, I therefore end up with plus 4x, then the plus 5y, and then I've got 5 minus 12, which is minus 7, and that will equal 0. So you can see we end up with exactly the same equation of the straight line. Okay, so hope that's uh, given you some insight then how we can use this particular form for the equation of a straight line. It really is useful. It's much better than using y equals mx plus c. So I leave that with you and I hope, uh, as I say, that's been of some value for you.